Here we are, it's Chris Bannister again. We've just uh, opened the box in the workshop of his new Joey Chang White Les Paul. Now this has not been set up in any way yet, has it, Tim? This is no. just straight out of the box. Straight out of the box. What's your feeling on it? Well, the thing I really like about it is it's quite light for a Les Paul, um, which gives it... Um, if I'll just turn it off... It's quite a resonant sound. My Gibson Les Paul is a very heavy one, and it's got a, it's got, it's sort of dead sound. I mean, when you plug it in, it sounds good, but uh, but this has a lovely acoustic, which strikes me straight away as being because of the body, you know, the lightness of the body. And we're just playing through a uh, little Vox ADT, I think it's an ADT 30 XL, on, on just a bit of a crunch tone, really. Very well made. Um, again, the finishing on it is uh, it's immaculate, really, faultless. Very similar to the, the Telecaster we looked at last time. Um, quite a wide neck on it, like a 50s style Les Paul neck, which is good, I like that. And I know that you like quite a thick neck as well. Probably 169 quid, something like that, retail, I think, right. 175, um, something like that. As you can hear, powerful, typical PAF. Pick up sound. It stays in tune well as well. What do, you what, do you, what do you think of the hardware? It's very Gibson. It looks fantastic. It's vintage style uh, knobs on it and um, it's quite an unusual one because the binding on it, it's, it's its own thing really. It doesn't really look like a Gibson Les Paul. It's, it's very much its own style which is nice. The binding, the yellow. I've never seen one like this before with these particular colours. You know? <laughs> So I suppose the, uh, the next video that we'll do then, we'll uh, get to your studio and we'll compare it we'll with compare your Gibson the, uh, Les Paul, yeah. okay? Hey, thanks again, Chris. No problem, Tim. Cheers. Cheers.